Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to be talking about a specific subject, and today's subject is dry skin. Oh, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but right now I'm practicing makeup, and it's sort of like a Jennifer Lopez look. Gold eyeshadow and thick liner, and anyways, from the on the floor video, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, so, I had a problem with dry skin this week, like a few days ago, I just woke up and um, I had these red blotches on my skin, on my face, like right there on the cheeks, and um, parts of my face were also dry. And um, but it didn't. It it seemed kind of subtle at first, so I just um, I just put a little moisturizer on it, and I just kept going on. And then the next day, I uh, this side of my face was also a little more dry, and um, the top of my lips right there, the crook this part was also dry and it really irritated me and and then so I thought it was pretty serious so I went to the pharmacy to get like a prescription or something and they recommended this uh, this face cream um, to moisturize my face one that was hypoallergenic for sensitive skin and um, these pills because they thought it was an allergic reaction but I, I'm not sure what I'd be allergic to, but um, I tried both of them out, and the next day it just made my skin even worse. It just made the per so at first there were just like these two red spots, but and it would just spread everywhere, and it was really bad. So I just stopped using those products. So and then um, and then I decided to go all natural because I think home remedies are the best. They are the best. Um. For me, home remedies just work the best because my face is very sensitive, and I just love all natural products. So I just look stuff up on the internet for dry skin, and the first. So um, now I'm just basically gonna tell you the steps that I use to get rid of dry skin. So the first thing I did was I took a block, just a, an ice cube. Because my face was um it was getting all red and very heated and itchy, so I just took the ice cube and I sort of like massaged it with the ice, wrapped in fabric, of course, so it didn't like um so it wasn't too cold because you can't put a raw ice cube on your face, and so I just um I just did that for a few minutes, a while actually, about ten minutes or so, and then um and then the same night. I use an oil honey face mask, which is, um, it's just like a few drops of oil, no, olive oil, so it was like, like, like this much of olive oil with some honey, just mix it in together depending on how much you need, and, and then I just heated that up in the microwave for a little while, about 15 seconds will do, and then I just put the, put it on the drying areas, and um, after about 15 minutes, I, I rubbed parts of it off with um, a, a damp towel. And then I just left it to soak into my face overnight. And then this morning, I woke up and this side of my face was a lot better. But um, this side was still very flaky and dry. And so I just put on more Vaseline to keep it moisturized because you always have to keep your face moisturized. Even if you have oily, oily, oily skin, like um, when if you get dried skin, the best thing to do is to keep it moisturized always. But and then um, and then I used um the scrubbing technique. So I got a a face scrubber, like a face scrubbing pad, and I put a little Vaseline on it because Vaseline is one of my um favorite products. It's like it's like all natural. It's not actually, but it doesn't do anything to my skin. Because and it really helps with almost anything. And there's like 50 different uses for it. And so I just put a, a little thing of Vaseline, just a little drop on the face scrub. And then um, I just scrubbed my face with it, this side of the cheek and also um, in the crook and on this side of the cheek as well. It was all pretty dry. And then I just like kept scrubbing and scrubbing. But I, I didn't scrub too hard. So you can't scrub very hard because then it'll um it'll dry out your skin and you can't scrub without the vaseline because you don't want to scrub dry skin otherwise 
it can really damage your skin and um and give you little cuts so then after i lightly scrubbed well i had well my my dry skin was very severe so well it wasn't very severe but it was slightly severe so i scrubbed a little harder than i usually would and it also relieved the itch as you know and then um and then my face suddenly felt a lot it felt a lot more moisturized like it felt softer and like it did before and um most like nearly all the dryness was gone and then um and then i just put a little sunscreen on it after because um sunscreen acts like a moisturizer so and it's very oily so and it has spf so it's like the best so you can just use sunscreen as a moisturizer which i did to um keep my face moisturized and um, if you can see this red spot right there i'm going to zoom in a little don't get creeped up um Oh, sorry, I have an eyeliner smudge, but um, if you see that red spot, it's where it's where a lot of the dryness sort of started. So it's sort of damaged. It's like damaged red skin. So I put I just put a little um little cream on it, like um like any sort of regular creams for cuts and and scratches and stuff will do. Any sort of healing cream. I put a very um very soft one on just on that spot but I didn't put it on everywhere because again it's a medicine so and you should um you should use drugs and medicines carefully and so now um now I'm planning to keep my face moisturized and also um it could be the sun that was affecting my face so now I'm going to be using um aloe vera gel after after going out in the sun and always using sunscreen and all the moisturizer and now hopefully I never get dry skin like that again because it was very bad it was it was just terrible it was it was red it was itchy it was hot it was flaky and it just made me look really bad you know it kinda looked like I was wearing a little too much blush on the wrong side of my face and and yeah so I'm really glad that I mean I was able to fix it but I don't know if it's permanently fixed so if if something else happens, I'll just, um, I'll post another video of it. But, so, please, when you have dry skin, do not use, like, harsh chemical. do not use harsh chemicals, do not use any sort of stuff from stores. Like, med I don't think medications would really help you at all. I think, um, all natural products would, are really your best shape, are your best chance. So, thank you for watching. And I hope this helps you with your dry skin too. So remember, first the ice, then the um, then the moisturizing with the face mask, an, an all natural face mask, and then finally the scrubbing. If all the other ones haven't worked yet, that because that means you have a pretty severely dry skin. So once again, thank you for watching. Um, please rate and subscribe.